in every cell in your body, whether it be a hair cell, a neuron, a cardiac cell, the genes that you have are identical across all cells, 50% from your mother and 50% from your father. However, obviously, neurons and hair cells and skin cells are very different. And the way that this works is that you have to control which genes that you have are turned on or off within a given context. Okay? Now, this is obviously very important for development, but over the last 10 years, there's been a growing interest in understanding how these processes may play into alterations in neuroplasticity or how neurons communicate. So my PhD advisor, Eric Nessler, has done a beautiful job over the last decade of showing that early life events, for example, chronic stress, can ultimately affect the way that these epigenetic processes work to ultimately affect how neurons communicate with one another. Therefore, in my laboratory, we try to develop model systems where we can test specific aspects of major depressive disorder. In particular, we're very interested in identifying certain properties such as uh, a disinterest in normal pleasurable activities, um, also lack of interest in um, social interaction and so forth, and try to understand what it is about the molecular mechanisms of the brain that contribute to alterations in these behaviors when an animal has been exposed to stress or not.